Desired truth. Hmm. Hey, Shazon! Sorry I'm late. Huh? He's completely zoned out? Hmm. <sighs> Sha? Huh? How long have you been sitting there? Not long. I actually just got here. But is something wrong? I said your name when I got here, but I don't think you heard me. I've never seen you so out of it before. Chat, do you want to talk about it? Uh? Everything's fine. Just don't out, that's all. Let's go start up troll, Ladybug. Now I know something's wrong. You're not calling me Milady anymore? Huh. Uh. <laughs> Chad. Well, looks like Paris is safe tonight. See you tomorrow, Ladybug. Shut on, wait! Shut, I know something's wrong. Orb Troll, you've been distant, barely talking to me. You were like this when I first arrived, too. Ladybug, I said I was fine. That's two times now. Two times? For what? You usually call me Milady, or other nicknames. Of course I tell you to stop, but you do it anyways. So, what? Then why'd you bring it up if you don't like it? What? No, I... It isn't what this is about, Shaz, I'm just saying, it isn't like you. We've been partners since the beginning. And I... I want you to know, but you can trust me. You're my best friend, and I'll always be here for you, Chat Noir. Hmm. But what if the reason I don't want to talk about it... is because I fear conflict between us? Wait... Conflict? Between us? Actually, I've decided I do want to talk about it. So, Ladybug. When were you going to tell me that Rena Rouge and Carapace know each other's identities? What? Wait, how did he find out? Was he there? No, he couldn't have been. I... Chat, how did you find out- Does that really matter right now? Please. I just want the truth. Look, I... I didn't want it to happen. I just had no clue what excuse to pull even them away without them getting suspicious. It was bad timing on my part. It was back on Heroes Day, and the fight with Scarlet Moth. I'm really sorry about them knowing each other's secret identities, but they haven't caused any trouble. Is that so? I guess Nina was right. I think you were the one against us knowing each other's secret identities. Only your Nino, huh? What else are you hiding? You want to know about trust, but it seems like you don't trust me enough. Hang on a second! You know both their identities? And you... Nina told you about this? Oh no. I don't know what else you've been told, but listen. It was the heat of the moment and it just sort of came out. I didn't mean to tell her who I was, but life was getting so hard on my own. Wait, you only brought up how he knew who Carapace and Rin Rouge are. Did I just openly assume? <sighs> oh my gosh, please tell me I didn't just say that. I just completely assumed Alia told him. He only talked to Nino. How could I have been so stupid? Why did I think Arlie would- You're lying. You said no one could know who we are under the mask. Why would you do this? Why tell her? I've been your partner since- Since the start. And you still are. Nothing will ever change that. I shouldn't have told her I'm sorry. She just happened to be there when I wasn't thinking clearly. I never meant to hurt. What about me? Ever since we got on right against this, it's been us against the world, right? Why her? What am I doing? I can't stop. I know she needed to vent, but let alone tell someone. If it was Rena Rouge, does she really not trust me? I never thought I'd hurt him this bad. Maybe I should have told him. <laughs> you, you wouldn't understand. I can't tell you. Are you kidding me? I'm right here. What could I have done to portray your trust? That's... that's not... Then why? Why would you tell someone? And why her? Why not come to me? Because you were acclimatized! Huh? What did she say? <laughs> Look, I know we're going through some conflicts, but come on, lady. That's a sick joke. Besides, I would have remembered you decumatizing me. Well... Maybe not entirely, but still. I'm not joking, Shat. Bannix was involved and took me to the near future to save you. I don't know how you were 
well, akumatized. But you knew my identity. The moon, the people, everything was cold. I just don't want to see you like that ever again. We're in that much pain. I didn't think it would be a good idea to tell me. I understand. I guess that's it then. I already messed up once before in a different timeline. So no matter what, you can't fully really trust me until Hogmoth's defeated. That's not true, Shance. You know if I trust you, after everything we've been through, but... I just can't say anything right now. It's too soon. But Shance, it was not your fault. I'm sure that whatever caused it was not your choice. And I don't want you to blame yourself, okay? So please, once we defeat Hogmoth, I will tell you everything. But please don't blame yourself. Yeah. Well, I need some time to think and process, so... Thanks for opening up. I understand a lot more now. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pressure you like that. I'll see you at our next patrol. Wait, chat, don't! Leave. <sighs> I'm sorry, Shaton. Damn it! I shouldn't have run off like that. What was I supposed to do? Huh? Tis? How long has it been since I last cried? And why? Can't I stop? <sighs> stop, please. Stop crying. Get a hold of yourself. You should keep your emotions in check, so why now? Huh? Is that... Uh, an Akuma? And why here? Could I really have... <sighs> What shall I do? I don't want to move. Maybe I should just let it. Uh, cataclysm! That was too close. If I was a second too late. Uh, damn it! What's wrong with me? How could I have been so selfish? To think she's seen me acclimatize before. And that being the reason there's a wall between us. I don't want her to see me like that. Ever again. And yet, I almost wish that I didn't stop it. Okay, maybe I don't. I can't think straight. I really don't want to go home. I need more time. Maybe I could go see a friend? 